All right, guys, let's see how we can uh, create a polling in Angular. In this example, we'll be generating HTTP requests uh, towards a service and it will reply us with uh, its response. We'll be able to stop the requests and to restart them again. So let's see how we can do this with the help of RxJS. So we have an HTML, a TypeScript, um, parts of the component, as well as uh, our uh, service. In our service, we are just uh, generating an HTTP response and then sending this response at a random time. And then in the component, we have one observable stream towards which we are subscribing and uh, we are showing the contents of uh, this uh, stream to the users. In case we are not yet subscribed, we are showing subscribing to service uh, to the users. And then we have two buttons, stop and start. Uh, they are bound to the functions uh, stop and start inside of the component. Let's take a look at the logic of the component. Basically, the whole logic consists of having two subjects uh, for starting and stopping the stream and then we have one observable uh, towards which if you remember we were subscribing here in the component html file basically while we are holding up the component in its ng on it uh, hook we use this observable in order to repeatedly call uh, our service so basically we are calling this service and it calls the our server we do this using this uh, timer RxJS operator. So we start immediately and then every uh, half second we uh, call the polling service. We need to know how we can uh, stop this observable uh, stream. And we do this with a take until operator. So the take until depends on the stop stream. And then to resume the stream, we are using the repeat when operator and it depends on the uh, start stream uh, subject. So we have two subjects on which uh, this observable will depend to start or stop. All right. So whenever we click on the stop button, it will invoke the stop function. This means that uh, we'll pass something to the stop stream. And whenever something is passed to the stop stream, this uh, take until operator will be activated because uh, it depends on the stop stream and this observable stream will stop. And then for the resuming of the stream, we use the repeat when operator and it depends on the start stream. So whenever we click on the start button, we will activate uh, this uh, subject with its next function. This in turn will guide the repeat when uh, to start again the observable stream. Here also we are using the switch map operator. This is because we would like the moment uh, something appears from the polling service, so uh, from the back end, to switch to it, to, so to subscribe to it and to uh, fill the observable stream with the information from the service. And uh, this also allows us to unsubscribe from the previous uh, um, service a stream also for the unsubscriptions since we have created uh, the start stream and the stop stream which are uh, subjects and they are created with a new operator we need to complete them somehow so on the on destroy uh, hook we ask those uh, subjects to complete and uh, also for the memory considerations uh, we subscribe predominantly in the template to the observable uh, with the async operator in a way that uh, if we navigate away from the component or uh, just uh, destroy the component, Angular automatically will be able to uh, handle the memory consumed from the observable stream and it will successfully run its uh, garbage collector. As an improvement of the code, you can 
replace uh, the fetch URL functionality with uh, a real HTTP request uh, towards a service. And keep in mind that uh, we are discussing a specific use case. So if you are having a more dynamic content, such as uh, relying on uh, chats or sending and receiving uh, dynamically uh, user-generated data, you can use uh, web uh, sockets or uh, the so-called long pulling uh, techniques. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And if you like the content, you can subscribe to the channel.